Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, all that jazz. I gotta get right into it because it is 8.08. I have to be working out, but I wanted to come to you with a Sephora haul because this was kind of like my Christmas gift to myself because I really didn't shop for anyone or ask for anything. So I just wanted to come to you really, really quick and show you some of the goodies that I got. So you know the drill without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, these are not like beauty on a budget items they are expensive i have the receipt and i will share those items just in case you guys want to know how much they cost before you travel to school or to purchase them so the first thing that i have to pick up um i have the afterglow palette and i have like many samples of some of the becca what is this called the shimmering skin perfectors i have moonstone and rose gold and i really love them so i'm laid on the bandwagon but i went and got opal which is like a staple. Everybody in the beauty community knows this. I'm a little late, but whatsoever. I picked it up and that's all that matters how you open it. First of all, the packaging is really cute. It's just gun metal. Um, but yeah, so here is the product. It has a little slip thing on it. Um, but yeah, it's a highlighter, which I know I'm going to love. And my mommy's coming up the steps. So that's the highlighter there. It's going to be really, 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 really pretty. I'm filming. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, so really, really pretty highlighter. I already know on the tops of the cheeks. It's gonna look really, really nice. So not anything fancy. Everybody has it. So the next item I picked up was also from Becca. I hear Nitra B talk about this all the time. It is the ultimate coverage complexion cream. And I got the shade Sandalwood. She has oily skin like me. I say it all the time oily grease monster um this is the foundation again the same kind of gun metal packaging it has a pump which is really nice because foundations without pumps can be really messy um so yeah i just got the shade candlewood i'm excited to try it out it has like a mousse texture and it's completely full coverage so this is like beat face glam the next item again is something that everybody has been on the bandwagon and i'm thinking about doing a review of setting powders because i've been trying out the air spun loose powder which patrick star raves about but this is a laura mercier invisible loose setting powder to do the baking under those eyeballs um it's a universal shade nothing too fancy i went and got the full uh size they didn't have the mini one i really wanted to try that one first but they didn't have it Everybody raves about it. Melanin girls, apparently this is going to work for us. It's not going to cause any flashback, which you know is bad for photos. So I'm excited to try this out. I also want to pick up the Sasha Buttercup powder that Jackie Aina talks about, but I got to figure that out. So I got this as well. Um, again, nothing new. A lot of these items you probably already heard about. I'm just late jumping on that wagon, but I am excited to try them out. And last but not least, Sephora always does this as you're standing in line, you're waiting to check out. They have all those little mini items and they're like, pick me, grab me, buy me, even though you don't need me. And I jumped on the bandwagon and I got this because I'm a huge fan of Jackie Ina. Jackie Ina used um, one of the masks that I'm mentioning in this um, set that I have and she raved about it. And if Jackie Ina loves it, then you pretty much have to love it as well. So it is the Peter Thomas Roth uh, Just a Mask It Support Exclusive. So basically, it is three mini size masks. Um, it's the Irish More Mud Mask, the 24 Karat Gold Mask, and the Cucumber Gel Mask. Let me show you the size. It was $24, which isn't bad seeing as you get to try out like three different ones. And they are really tiny. I'm not going to lie to you. Like they're they're pretty tiny but you definitely need to try it out so this is the irish more mud mask here purifying purifying black mask purifying refining the congesting hydrating mask uh volcanic ash reveal, revitalizes activated charcoal so this is probably going to be really good for my acne this is the 24 karat gold mask and i'm excited to just like lather this on my face it's gonna be so nice I live cool. <laughs> okay, so anyway, it's pure 24 karat gold. So this is like real gold that you slather on your face. Um, imparts an opulent glow. Helps lift and firm. So it's like anti-aging, gives you a glow. I have oily skin, but I do like to look luminous from time to time. Um, and then this is the cucumber gel mask. Extreme detoxifying hydrator. 
helps soothe dry skin, irritated skin with extracts of cucumber. So I don't have dry skin, but it is the winter time and I do notice like some dry patches like around my nose area, like kind of under my eyes on my cheeks. So I'm excited to try these out. So yeah, I got all three of these little mini masks um, for $24, $24. I also picked up um, this isn't from Sephora, but I might as well mention it. I am wearing it today. It is a True Match Gloomy Cushion Foundation. And I kind of talked about it on my Snapchat. So if you're not following me on Snapchat, make sure you do it. It's Wimberly Cams. I'll link it below. It's weird. I'll explain that later. But I'm really excited about these products. And a little heads up. Lancome is owned by L'Oreal. So, like, months ago, Lancome released, like, a cushion foundation, which is similar to what we're seeing right now in the drugstore so basically it's a compact but it's a liquid foundation so if you press on it foundation comes out so anyway um months ago Lancome released this and then now they have it in the drugstore so basically i'm saying all this to say if Lancome which is really high-end luxury brand if they release something chances are you're going to see a drugstore version of it they did it with the uh grand Noir, um mascara and they used to work for Lancome which is why i know all this but they used they released like the grand Noir, um which they call mascara which had like a gooseneck wand and then like months later we saw the miss manga which was released in the drugstores so that's just something to look out if you're not into spending a whole whole lot of money on makeup like me um then just kind of always try to look for dupes or comparisons in the drugstore so yeah i'm wearing this now i'll do a review maybe on snapchat maybe a video whatever you like just let me know that's it for today my total was too much but your girl is vib now and i'm gonna cut this video short because i gotta go to work and i'm always late to work so Subscribe to my channel, like, share, leave comments below, and I will see you next time. And you know the drill. As always, leave your beauty on the world. Whatever it may be, leave your mark on the world with your beauty. Gotta go to work. Bye-bye.